What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new 2022 Kia EV6. And the model that we're looking at today is the GT Line all wheel drive auto, finished off in steel matte gray and has an MSRP at $58,000. Powering this fully electric Kia EV6 is a 77.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. It features a 239 kilowatt motor and makes 320 horsepower with 446 pound feet of torque. It sends the power to all four wheels through the dual motor E all wheel drive and can even do zero to 60 in 4.6 seconds. With the fast charge, it can get 80% charge in just 18 minutes, which is about 217 miles. And then the overall range is around 274 miles. The curb weight is 4,500 pounds, and it can even tow up to 2,300 pounds. The overall length is 184.3 inches, with a wheelbase at 114.2. Width is 74, with height at 60.8 inches. And then ground clearance is 6.1 inches. Now moving on to the exterior styling with this Kia EV6. This GT line is really sporty looking and this matte black is a really cool color, especially in the sunlight. You get a massive set of LED headlights that have a really cool design for the DRLs. You can see it on the top as well as the bottom. They're all blacked out, have a very nice look. And you can see more gloss black connecting the two headlights with a forward facing camera right in the center. We get the new Kia badge finished off in a billet aluminum color, and then more of the satin color right in the center. All of your parking sensors are in the center portion of the bumper. Then you can see a nice chrome trim piece, as well as some gloss black on the sides. Down below, we have some nice gloss black for all of the mesh, as well as one of the safety sensors. I like just how sporty this car looks, and you can see these really nice fins that kind of protrude forwards. If we take a look at this hood, it's more of a clamshell design with a really sharp body line on the left and right side leading to the windshield and then really clean lines all around it, just giving it a nice flatter appearance. As you make your way around the front end, you can see how all the sculpture comes together nicely, has a really good blend for the design. We get a parking sensor on the side with a really nice body color trim piece. And then moving to the 20 inch wheels, they're a five spoke design with a really cool two tone, kind of have a spiraling blade effect. Very nice look. Then you can see a sharp body line in the center portion going all the way towards the rear wheels. And then I really like the gloss black in the lower side skirt. Has a really good side profile with more clean lines. And then you can see the gloss black for the A pillar with all black out for the B pillar as well as the C pillar. Then you can see more of the body colored as well as the sunroof up front. This does feature gloss black mirror caps with an integrated turn signal as well as a side view camera. And then we get body color door handles. You can see how they're protruding outwards a little bit right now, but they also will go nice and flush. Has a really seamless design how everything is laid out. Then as we make our way towards the rear, you can see how the spoiler is integrated to the roof line. It also cuts outward with an LED light under it. Has more of a wing effect to it and it has a really nice side profile overall. See just how nice the proportions are. I think it comes together really well. And with the satin color, you can see just how large this rear fender is. It bulges outwards quite a lot to give it some aggression and a wider appearance. And then in back, we get all gloss black around this rear window, a massive rear window, and then a huge LED taillight running around the entire rear end. And then the charge port is located back here as well. You give that a firm push, it'll automatically open up. You can see the plug right in the center along with two different buttons with charging it. And then as well as this button, you just press that and it automatically closes. You can see the massive key logo right in the center finishing that same design. We get EV6 on the left with a nice chrome trees underneath that. And then you can see the GT line badge on the right. There's gloss black in the lower portion of the bumper with more of your parking sensors. A really cool reverse light way down below with all this mesh in the lower diffuser. And it really comes together to give the EV6 a sporty and performance looking design. And I love how all the sharp lines come together. So there's a good look at the exterior design and some of the specifications for the Kia EV6. Now taking a look at the key fob, we have the start button as well as the smart park. And then all of your typical buttons are on the side. We have a cool lock button like a trigger. And if I go ahead and hold down the engine start stop button, the electronics will all turn on. 
and then once the car is on, you do hear a slight noise that the car makes. I can hold down these park buttons and actually drive the car using the key fob. As you can see, it's gonna start pulling forward now, which is a great feature if you happen to have the car parked in a really bad spot. You can easily drive the car. That is a really cool thing. And then letting go of the button, the car will stop. And of course you can go in the other direction. And then just holding the start button again, it'll shut the vehicle off. Right now, the car is locked, keeping the key fob in my pocket. All I have to do is go up to the car, and when I get close to it, the door handles will pop out, along with the mirrors folding out. Then you can just grab the door handle, open it up, and check out the interior. Taking a look at the interior now, this gets a black interior with black Alcantara, as well as a light gray leather material. Taking a look at this door panel finished off in black, we get some smooth black leather, some good padding for your armrest, then a nice grab handle, and then more gloss black. You can see your window controls and mirror controls with lock and unlock, then your release handle up top with memory seating. You get a lot of storage down below and part of the Meridian audio sound system. And then taking a look at these seats now, they have power controls on the left side and you can see the smooth black leather with all the gray. And then I love the perforated Alcantara all throughout the center with a really cool stitching design. It leads its way all the way up the backrest. Really cool looking seats, smooth black leather for the headrest. Definitely like the way it comes together. And then we get a black leather steering wheel with silver trim. And then now inside, keeping my foot on the brake, we can just press the button. The electronics will turn on, and this is how you start up this EV6. And then if we go ahead and take a look at the gauge cluster, this is a full LCD screen, has a really nice look. Same with the LCD screen right over in the center. But taking a look at this, we have our charge over on the right with how many miles we have left. Then we also have your speedometer on the left, and then some information right in the center. If you change your drive mode by just tapping this button, it'll change the configuration, get a little bit cooler look into sport mode, and then a toned down look down into eco mode. You can also use the button on the steering wheel to adjust what you see on the screen. I can go up and down right here. You can see two different things. And then continuing over, we have drive information. You can see trip information and things like that. Navigation will pop up as well. And then information like the battery indicator as well as where the power is going to each wheel. And then tire pressure. We get paddle shifters on the left and right side of the steering wheel. These actually control the regenerative braking. You can see where it says level one over on that left side. You can tone it up and down as you're driving the car. On the right side of the steering wheel, we get some Bluetooth and audio controls. Then we also get your cruise control settings on the left, distance pacing, as well as lane keeping and steering intervention. Turn signal stock is on the left side. When you turn your turn signal on, you get a really nice camera that will come up. A really cool feature to see. We have your windshield wiper stock over on the right side. And then on the left of the actual steering wheel, we have interior lighting, power lift gate, your charge port, electronic parking brake, as well as traction control. Then you can see a little bit of ambient lighting as well throughout this interior. Then a really nice vinyl material running through the dashboard. There is a heads up display system in the center that'll show you all your information. And then more of this vinyl material running through the dash. I love how the GT line gets that sporty look. Then you can see a really nice layout for how the air vents are, and all of this lights up at night. It has a really neat design. And then as we make our way to the center screen now, the home menu, you can see your battery indicator. You can see a few more things like navigation, your map icon, phone, radio, media, all sorts of different items. Then continue over to a few more things. We have a home icon in the top left. And if I go ahead and put the car into reverse, your backup camera pops up on the left with a top down on the right, and then you can configure different views. You can see a top down on this left side, three quarters view. Then we even get the 360 parking camera. So really nice the way it's laid out, very easy to use. Gives you a good understanding of exactly where the car is. We also have different settings that you can adjust. Then I can just tap this P button and put us back into park. And then underneath all that, we have a large LCD screen right here for all of your climate. You can see your dual zone temperature. You can easily just adjust that. Then we have your fan speed in the center, your different zones, and then a few more icons. Then if you just tap this arrow, this all switches up to see your navigation, radio, media setup, all sorts of different shortcuts, and the rotary dials even change. So now this is power and volume, and this is your file and tuning. And as you can see, when I switch that, it changes it to your temperature. Then you can see underneath this, we have a ton of storage space. You can see a plug down there, as well as more, and then a huge area. And then you can see up top, we have heated and ventilated seats with your heated steering wheel control, more of this gloss black, your drive select, and then we have a shortcut for camera, auto hold, and your parking sensors. 
We do get wireless charging in the EV6, along with two cup holders and a little bit of storage, and then more of that nice vinyl design all throughout the center armrest. I just love the way it feels, the texture's really nice. And if I lift that up, we have a ton of storage space all inside. And then taking a look at the glove box, just pressing the button, it opens up, and you have a pretty good amount of space in there, as you would expect. And then one last look at the interior. Kia did a really nice job making this feel like a normal car. It's not crazy funky. And the GT line really does feel sporty, especially with the seats. And the overall layout is really nice. And then up top, we get the sunroof. And then all of your controls are located up front with your dome light and a mirror. And then moving to the rear seat space, I can just grab the door handle and open it up. The rear door panels are finished off just like we saw up front. You get that lighter gray leather material, the gloss black, heated seat controls right there, and even the same armrest. Then you can see the same perforated Alcantara all throughout the center of these seats with the gray leather. This can seat three people. You can even pull this one down and we get a good armrest as well as two cup holders. And then up in front, there's a USB port on the backs of the front seats and then a little bit of storage and then air vents on these pillars. And then now sitting in the back of the Kia EV6. So I'm five foot 11 right now. The driver's seat is set at my height. I have pretty good knee room. The seat is a little low, so my legs are kind of high off the seat. And then these seats do recline. Right now they're in the utmost position, which is pretty uncomfortable. But if I recline them back a little bit, it's not too bad. And if you extend your legs a little bit, you know, it's a decently comfortable back seat here. My head just kind of barely touches the ceiling. Uh, so if you're any taller than me, you know, this might feel a little bit cramped. But overall, it's not too bad. And then, of course, you can see the differences. It's like a three-inch recline. Uh, you have a pretty good window here. I like the extra window back there. And then we have dome lights up top as well as some grab handles. And then moving to the cargo area, you have the button on the interior, the one on the key fob, or you can just press the button right there, and the entire lift gate will automatically open up. This EV6 has a ton of interior cargo space. You have a nice privacy cover that we can easily get out of the way. And you can see just how large the flooring is. Really nice and wide. The fenders aren't really too in the way. And then you can also, of course, remove this if you need that extra space in here. And I especially like how we have a grab handle on the left and right side. You can just pull that and both of these seats will automatically fold down and get nicely out of the way. You can fit a car exhaust system in here and a 10 foot two x four if needed. I did that over the weekend with this and it is really, really practical. And then if you go ahead and open up these doors, you can see how they fold nice and flat with a ton of space up in front. So this really is a very, very practical crossover. And then for the last bit of storage, you can just pull this lever right here and it'll pop the front area like in a traditional car. And just grabbing the catch, we can open this up and it reveals, of course, some of the electronics. But this front piece, you can lift this up and we get a small amount of storage. You could probably fit maybe your charging cables and that's about it. So at least this does have just a little bit extra storage. Then we can close that and close the front. All right, guys, so we are setting off now in the EV6. <laughs> when you drive it in the sport mode, it is definitely pretty darn quick. Of course, that electric power is just instant. <laughs> a really, really peppy light on its toes. I love the acceleration. There are like three different versions you can get of this car. Uh, this is the most powerful one available currently. For 2023, there is going to be a GT, and that one has well over 500 horsepower. Really, really quick. That's going to be pretty sweet. But this one definitely is a really good blend. Normal driving, if we tone it down into eco mode, these are really comfortable. I drove this all the way home from the airport. Uh, we had another one a few weeks ago that was more of a normal trim level with the same motors but the gt line adds that extra sporty design but these are just really nice to drive they're well insulated they're comfortable even going over train tracks at 40 miles an hour it doesn't feel like anything the suspension does a great job absorbing bumps and it really does feel like a refined car of course for the price point and stuff you know it better be pretty nice to drive and that's what i found these are really nice to drive great visibility as you can see huge windshield all the mirrors do a great job and visibility really is pretty good you have a great view around this car and i like the technology the lane keeping the steering intervention the cruise control it all works really well in this car and it just seems like a nice balance of everything. If you want an electric car, this is something to get. It just feels more like a normal car, and yet it has that futuristic stuff in it and just a really cool layout. 
I like also the use of materials. Things feel nice. The vinyl material is really sporty. So I definitely like the GT line. And the heads up display is really cool. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but right now on cruise control, I have all that information up. And whenever I get near a car or something or crossing this line like I am, it comes up with orange indicators showing that I'm like crossing the line and things like that. It'll even show a blue highlighted area behind the car in front of you to know where they are. So it's just really cool the way everything is laid out. And then acceleration, like I said, is super nice. Eco mode, you know, it's really normal, really effortless. When you go into normal mode, it gets a little bit more touchy, a little bit quicker. But when you put it into the sport mode, you just give it just a little bit of gas or a little bit of electric, I should say. And this thing takes off. <laughs> Definitely a nice power plant. All right, so flipping to my perspective, <laughs> full throttle up to 60. <laughs> so this is a pretty nice vehicle taking sharp turns too it is a really good handling crossover obviously it has like a thousand pound battery which is all at the lowest center of the car so when you take sharp turns the center of gravity is nice and low so it handles pretty well it, they really did do just a good blend on this to give you kind of everything it can drive nicely it doesn't feel just like some boring electric car it actually drives nice and comfortable I don't really have many complaints. It's a little funky looking on the outside. I personally like the exterior design though. I like the way it's laid out. I like the design. I think it looks pretty futuristic, pretty sharp, and just has that nice blend of what you would want. <laughs> it's not crazy, blow your socks off, but it'll get up to 60 pretty darn quick. Uh, definitely a good power plant for it. But yeah, Kia EV6. I think really, if you are looking for an electric car, there's a lot out there as of this point. Uh, some are a little too weird for me. They're just a little funky, a little too futuristic. I think this one kind of keeps it normal, keeps it the way you would want any typical car to be without going overboard. And I think that's a big thing. You know, I don't really like the cars that are too out there with just two new things. This one feels comfortable, feels normal, and it's just that good blend of everything. And I really am impressed with just the ride quality. It's a nice, solid car. I've driven the other one quite a bit, this one, you know, on the highway and things like that. And it's just a comfortable car that you can enjoy driving. And it feels like a luxury car for being mid $50,000 range. It's not crazy expensive, especially when you look at all the technology you get and just how refined it feels. It's just a really good car at the end of the day. It's not just a good electric car. It's a good car at the end of the day. But yeah, there is the 2022 Kia EV6, the GT line, nice and sporty upgrade over the normal one. I like how you can get the big power plant as of 2022, of course, and you get the sportier interior. It'll be really sweet to see the GT for 2023. That thing's probably gonna be nuts to drive. Uh, faster than a Lamborghini Huracan zero to 60. That's what Kia's website says, so pretty sweet. Let's finish up with somewhat of a launch. We'll put it back into sport mode. And I'll go to a standstill, and we'll just step on the throttle. <laughs> and that's 50, pretty darn quick. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content to come, and I will see you guys in the next video.